I wanted to bust a nut and I had to get back out here on the road and do my thing. I don't give a fuck. I wanted to, I wanted to fuck. I wanted to, I wanted to fuck a bad bitch. That, that's all. I didn't want to fucking be a father. I didn't choose to be a parent. I didn't hit a button and say, uh, sex, head, parent. Yeah, I want to be a parent. No, my nigga, I want some, I want some sex with, uh, with kind of sex. Back shots, missionary, cowgirl, reverse cowgirl. Shit, y'all got everything. Let me get some goddamn, let me get doggy style, reverse cowgirl, and I want some, uh, yeah, I'll freak it tonight. Let me get a little 69, ain't it? Let me get a little 69. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little 69. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga just hit what he wanted. It wasn't no. Went to the internet, um, voicing his his um, his pain and his hurt, whatever like that. There was no sympathy. It was all a fucking joke. It was all a joke. Everybody laughed. He was telling you everything that's going on with the payments and everything. Not getting to see his children. He's crying because he did not. He's not able to see his kids. Everybody laughed at him. Everybody laughed at the man when he was attempting to see his children. I want y'all to walk with me on this one. Ladies, walk with me. Just, just tell me if this makes sense to you. Okay. When a nigga wants to see his children, when a nigga wants to be in his children's life, um... In their life, not just financially, but actually be in their life. Um, because he's no longer with you, you make it as hard as possible, even if you have to uproot and go to a whole nother state because you've done your research. Boy, you getting too damn big for this shit, boy. Hey, look, I'm extremely appreciative to everybody who's been showing love, giving their suggestions on where we should stop next on the Big Face Podcast Alabama tour. But I need you to go to my DM and not the comment section. What the fuck is you doing? Stop that. I'm going to preach to everybody who's been donating. If you've been donating, I definitely know who the fuck you are. Most of y'all have been donating, you know what I'm saying, like, routinely. If you haven't donated yet, get the fuck out of my comment section tell me how much you like the show. Just please, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, I don't, you know I don't fuck with those kind of people. Just go on back to, you know what I'm saying, where the fuck you came from. You know what I mean? PayPal.me forward slash Aaron337. Very simple, very easy. Um... The Big Face Podcast snapbacks, as you can see, are now in. Going for $25, so are the Are You Serious t-shirts. I actually took the Are You Serious t-shirt down to $20. All you got to do is go to paypal.me forward slash are you serious 10. Put all your information in and the shit will be there in three to five business days. Get your shit together, at home. Search. You've done your research to where you know where he can and can't go. Maybe his job is here. His good paying job. So you know he'll be able to take care of the child financially. But you know he wants to be a father. There are a lot of points I want to get out on this one. Um, Tyree showed that he wants to be part of his child life. He's paying everything he has to pay. But getting minimal time with his child in the most important and critical years of that child's life. You're monopolizing that child's time to where the child won't even know him when he starts to get maybe weekends. Now he has to be a Disneyland father. With you making it this difficult for a nigga because you've been scorned, because you've been hurt, and then your 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 um your response to that is nigga should have thought about that before he fucked me over. And you're, he did fuck you over. He did you so wrong. He, he cheated on you with your sister and you really loved him. That, that, that's real shit, whatever. So now you pass down the hurt to him. But then inevitably you pass the, the hurt down to your daughter. Because you're not thinking about how you're not really fit to be a parent. Because a parent, mentally, if, if you base... Your child's future on a vendetta that you have, 
you're not fit to be a parent because the first rule of being a parent, I thought, was sacrifice. Once the child comes into the picture, you no longer what you need, want. You don't matter anymore. Your life is over. Following your dreams, all that, that shit's over. That's why I'm saying I'm not sure why you would have a child before you reach financial stability. You know what I'm saying? Romantic stability. Spiritual stability. Physical stability. You know what I'm saying? Mental stability. I'm not sure why you would do that because once the child comes, you bettering your life takes a... 50% hit. You know what I'm saying? That means you trying to do anything after having that child becomes 100% harder. And yet, you have that much hate inside of you. You've been scorned that much to where you will throw all that shit out the window. Fuck that. My mission is lo no longer to find my inner peace and my happiness. It's to see him in pain. That's now my goal. And if that's not the case, then ladies, when you see situations like Tyrese or the situation I'm about to speak on, then you would speak out and say, no, no. You would shout that down. You would, you would, um, you would troll her the same way you troll, uh, Michael B. Jordan for being on a fucking yacht with all white bitches because he's in fucking Paris. But you celebrate Meghan Markle for having a whole goddamn white man. If a nigga take a picture with a white, don't get me started, dog. Welcome back to the Big Face Podcast. I'm Ayo Conseco, fearless leader of Ayo Nation, and this is. Well, I keep forgetting I ain't standing on this shit. Today, what we have to talk about is this fitted wop situation. Uh, usually, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know what I'm saying, fuck with this, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the lame shit um, or the whole shit, whatever like that. But I think this is uh, something that we need to talk about because I, I, don't, I, I haven't really touched on this whole, you know what I'm saying, whole shit. You know what I'm saying? In a while, because I, you know, I really do, I want to see change. So with that, we want to see change. I have to, you know what I'm saying, speak to the people that I, I think the change needs to happen within. Um, Fetty Wops, one of his fifth, sixth baby mama, uh, what's, what's the whole name? Um, she writes a letter, blast, her name is uh, Turquoise Mommy. Turquoise Mommy. This hoe is complaining because Fetty Wap isn't doing everything he should do as a father to his sixth fucking child. This bitch bore a child after Fetty Wap let her know that he did not want another child. After he let her know the strain he was having from all of these hoes having children thinking that they will be taken care of financially. Because once you have a child with someone who is getting an absorbent amount of money, now you can, you know what I'm saying, ask for what you want for any fucking reason. Oh, I think I'm being, uh, I think I need to take my child to a private school because uh, 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 everybody keeps, uh, 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 I need security. And the game goes deeper and deeper. And I want to let you hoes know, as I'm doing this Me and Two movement, I will be looking into some of the reasons why bitches go to fucking court for uh uh adjustments, what that shit called? Um when you get a uh when you change the amount of money you pay a month. It's an adjustment or some shit like that. When you get an adjustment on your child support, whatever like that. When a bitch you know what I'm saying tip, she goes to the court and tell them you know what I'm saying I need to take the price up because of this right here. A bitch will go to court, let's talk about it. A bitch can go to court and tell a judge they need the adjustment you know what I'm saying? Because he got a better job. What in the fuck does that mean? Do you hear what the fuck? Like, and I'm telling you, like, for you females, if 
a man was given, you know what I'm saying, automatic uh, parenthood or guardianship of the child. If he was, if he was the, automatically the court gave him primary guardian. After you had the child, if the strip was different to what a male gets the primary, which is probably what should happen because the man thinks he don't have that fucking um, postpartum depression shit to where he'll kill the fucking child, which we have plenty of cases to where that happens. Don't let, don't get me started. But if that was the case, then you wouldn't be preaching about, uh, like you, if the shoe is on the other foot, then you wouldn't be rocking like this. But you hoes are really, and you hoes act like you don't have a father, brothers, and uncles who hoes do this to. Your uncle is a welder, and this hoe keep on going to court for a fucking adjustment on the child support payment. And you say, there's nothing ass bitch, that broke ass bitch, don't do nothing shit, but pop here, that hoe that keep right now, that nothing ass hoe bitch, get you a job hoe, that hoe don't do shit. But as soon as you in that situation, you do the same fucking thing. I don't give a fuck what these folks say, I'm getting my motherfucking, my child, I do anything with my baby. You don't give a fuck about your child, because just like this hoe that fed it wipers with, if you gave a motherfuck about your child, There's no way that you would have given that child a father that you understood could not be there. If what the fuck you cared about was the well-being and the um, upbringing of that child, then what you would have done is made sure that that child had a father that would be conducive to a family, you know what I'm saying, environment. Not a nigga who's on tour fucking hole to get shot, robbed, know what I'm saying, and have another child at any fucking time. You didn't come in this bitch, know what I'm saying, thinking that this nigga was at home with you, then you find out later on he got another family, like you knew who the fuck this nigga was. Even if the nigga told you, because you do it all the time. A broke nigga come up and tell you, what's up, baby, you know what I'm saying, in your inbox all day long. What's up, baby, you know what I'm saying, I got plenty of racks on deck, and you go on this nigga pictures and you can tell. You can tell that he don't got no money and you won't fuck that nigga. You won't even fuck the nigga. But then when it comes to Fetty Wap, a nigga who got the money and now you just ignorant. Oh, uh, he told me that he wanted a baby. Hold on. A nigga can tell you that he got money, but you are smart enough to see. No, nigga, you lying like a motherfucker. I'm not fucking you, nigga. But this, a rapper can tell you that he want a child with you. I want to be a father. And you can see that he has... All these fucking children out here, you can see that he barely got time to fuck you. You see him once a month, but he tell you, I want a child. Uh, he told me he wanted a baby, so that's the only reason I had the baby. So now you stupid? See, you always want it both ways, and these, these are where my issues come in at. Uh, my girl right here on this podcast, uh, Lovely T, she say, um, this is, son of a bitch. Hey, bitch, this your fault. That was your... She said that was your choice. It was your choice to have a fucking child for him. I damn near shed a tear when she said that because I was a woman saying that was your fucking choice to have that child because these motherfuckers will have you believe that it's a two-party goddamn decision-making thing. No, it's not. There is no two-party decision. My decision was I wanted to fuck. I wanted to bust a nut, and I had to get back out here on the road and do my thing. I don't give a fuck. I wanted to. I wanted to fuck. I wanted to. I wanted to fuck a bad bitch. That, that's all. I didn't want to fucking be a father. I didn't choose to be a parent. I didn't hit a button and say, uh, six head parent. Yeah, I want to be a parent. No, my nigga, I want some, I want some sex with, uh, with kind of sex, back shots, missionary, cowgirl, reverse cowgirl. Shit, y'all got everything. Let me get some goddamn. Let me get doggy style, reverse cowgirl, and I want some uh, y'all yeah, figure tonight. Let me get a little sixty nine. Ain't it? Let me get a little sixty nine. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little sixty nine. You know what I'm saying like, nigga, just hit what he wanted. It wasn't no, like, it wasn't no, yeah, I, I, at the end, yeah, I'm a parent at the end, yeah, I'm a parent, yeah, 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 it's all good. 
18 year worth? Yeah, 18 year worth. Yeah, it's all good. How much child support you want to pay? Uh, shit, what y'all got? We got the 250 a month plan, 450 a month. But if you rapping, we probably going to do like 5,000 a month. Ah, uh, 5,000 kind of. I do the 4,000 a month. Yeah, 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 4,000, 4,000. A nigga did all that before he even took his clothes off. Oh, was it, you know what I'm saying, nigga, high, drunk, everything, whatever like that. Oh, man, shit, oh, shit, oh, man. Woo. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck her. Oh, shit, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 shit. Oh, you nasty as fuck. Oh, shit. Oh, Lord. The whole get up and go to the bathroom. What in the fuck did I just do? You listening to hear if that whole pissing or not. Know what I'm saying? Cause you trying to make sure that, know what I'm saying? That whole shoot. Like you trying to make sure that she's shooting that shit about her. Cause you know you just fucked up. Like damn, that whole got everything. But you can't. Hey, oh, uh, oh, uh, shit. Could you. You can't do that. Who the fuck, dog? Yo! Fuck is that? God damn, dog. But you didn't choose that. And, you know, it's just. I, I, I like the fact that the, 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 the girl said that I, it's a choice. It is a choice. You chose that you wanted to attempt to force a nigga to be a parent. A nigga didn't choose that. So with that, to me, is robbery. Pure point blank is fucking robbery. But furthermore into that, let's go further more into it. The Men Too movement means abolish the Me Too movement. Because it's become corrupt. It's been contaminated now because everybody's raising their hand because they've been scorned by a nigga. That's the main thing. Destroy that shit. So every time they come out with a new case, I'm going to tear that shit apart. And the issue with that is uh, you you are victim shaming or some shit like that. A victim blaming. Like, no, dog. I'm trying to save the innocent men who fucking been working because I understand how hard it is to build something. It's extremely difficult to make something work in this world as a black man and in, as a bitch to come in and say, fuck that shit. That nigga fucking cheated on me. He raped me back in the day. Like, that's bullshit. And you know it's bullshit. But in this, this case with Fetty Wap, the bitch is, uh, he don't see his child and uh, he, he, he didn't even know what a birthday was. How the fuck would he? He has tour dates. Eight other kids to know they fucking birthday and shit like that. How in the fuck would he goddamn know what the fuck going on with you, bitch? You tried to force him into this. You put that hat on him. He didn't ask for that goddamn hat. And, and it should not be this fucking difficult to understand. I cannot force a nigga to do something that he never wanted to do in the first place. The nigga wanted to fuck, not have... He wanted to fuck, not be a father. It's a extremely big fucking difference. A nigga who wants to be a father has his life I like, secure right here. I have a job. I have a house. I have a car. I'm well. I'm welcoming you to come in. We work good together. Not we fuck good together. Cause you can have a really good fuck partner. You know what I'm saying? But y'all don't. Outside of sex, y'all don't. You know what I'm saying? It don't work. You know what I'm saying? You on you on a flat earth theory and this whole all about. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Uh, following any fucking person that becomes president, whatever they say is fucking law. You on this black power shit, this bitch believe everything she see on the fucking news. But y'all fuck good together. That's selfish. Selfish to say, I know that if I allow this nigga to go out here in the world freely, he gonna fuck other bitches, you know what I'm saying? And that other bitch might get this good dick that he got. So I'm gonna try to lock this shit down. You attempted to do something and it didn't work. If you... So with Fetty Wap, you have all these different examples... Of bitches getting pregnant and being left in the dust. And what happens is you believe, and this is for any hoe that is the third, fourth, even second, bitch. If you're the second baby mama of a nigga, after you've seen what he's done with his first baby mama, if you third, fourth, fifth, then you just a retarded bitch that just wants some money, pure point blank. That's prostitution. And you're selling your... That, I, I call that shit pure robbery. Not only a man from his child, but that child of a good 
conducive, productive life. You're a robber, a thief. If you're in it, if you see what a nigga's gonna do once he has a child, if, if if you don't if you don't believe a nigga could leave his children out there and not giving a fuck about him, if you see him do it once, what the fuck make you think he won't do it again? Don't give a fuck what he tell you about the other baby mama. You seen it. And if you're not smart enough to read that shit, how in the fuck are you smart enough to be a goddamn parent? Me and two movement. Big Facts Podcast. I'm El Canseco, Fearless of Nation. Y'all make sure y'all hit the PayPal. Love.